Hey guys, welcome to the third tutorial of Sketchware application using which you can create your own apps. So guys, we are going to design a LCD display board where we will be seeing the text moving from left to right, something similar to this and we will be also having three buttons, start, stop and reset. Tapping on the start button will make the text move, stop button will stop the text at current position and reset button will reset the position of the text to extreme left. Let me add three horizontal layout one below the other. Let me add an edit text to the first horizontal layout and user will enter the text here and this text will be displayed on the second horizontal layout. Add a text view to the second horizontal layout and add three buttons to the third layout and give names to the buttons as shown before. Add an animator component for moving this text and I said this in my previous video as well that you can use the translation property for moving the widget. We are moving this text in the horizontal direction so we need to change its translation x property. Firstly we need to get the string which user has entered and assign it to the text view. Set the target as text which needs to be moved. Set the property as translation x and in case you don't know what alpha refers to, it refers to opacity of the widget. Set the duration and this will be in milliseconds. Interpolator refers to how you want this text to be moved from 0 to 200 milliseconds. There are various options to choose from and let me choose the linear one. And now we need to set the position from where this text to be moved, the source and the destination. The source is already set and let me set the destination to 100 pixels to write from the current position. So we need to get the current position which we can get from the translation block and once this is done we need to start the animator. If this block is not called then the object will be stationary even after setting its properties. And all of this will happen once the button is clicked. But our requirement is that once we click on the button we want the text to be continuously moving which won't happen in current case it will move only once so we need to repeat this process every 200 milliseconds and for doing that we need to add a timer let's add a timer and name it as t let's add the repeat timer block now this process will be repeated every 200 milliseconds But we have another problem here, once the text moves to extreme right, it needs to come back to its original position and for doing that, let's add a variable which will keep a count of all the pixels it has moved and once it reaches the extreme right, the count will be equal to pixel width of the device. Since different devices have different pixel width, we do have a block which will give us that data. So guys we need to add an if condition here and once that if condition is set, we need to reset the translation x value of the text to 0. Before resetting its value to 0, we need to check if the animator is running and if it is running then we need to cancel it and also set the value of this variable to 0 for the next iteration. I think you can create the blocks for the reset and the stop button yourself and take this as an exercise which will be useful for you. And in case you are not able to do it, just comment down below and I will show you how it is done. You will have to use the stop timer block for one of the buttons and you can find that in the component section. So guys as usual in case you have any questions please comment down below and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.